and a miss, 11 strikeouts for DeGrom. Jonah Heim sends one deep into the Arlington night. Welcome into Rangers Report, presented by Chalk Talk Casinos and Resorts. I'm your host, Hannah Wing. In this new monthly series, we'll look back at what happened in the Rangers' hottest start in recent seasons during the month of April. Plus, outfielder Adolis Garcia goes in on his strong offensive start. Finally, we'll take a look at the power of the Peagle in celebration of the Rangers City Connect uniform launch. <laughs> There was a heat wave in Texas, and I don't mean the weather. The Rangers were off to their best offensive start since 2013. The bats came alive in April, and the Rangers scored 178 runs, the second highest in all of MLB. Outfielder Adolis Garcia led the squad with 30 RBI, followed by second baseman Marcus Simeon with 23, and catcher Jonah Heim with 22. Third baseman Josh Young had a stellar April too. He hit his first career grand slam, leads all MLB rookies with 21 RBI and his second homers with six. We all know that El Bombi got his name by hitting bombs, but talk about three two-run homers and five innings to be exact. Garcia is the third player in the modern era with over 16 total bases, three plus homers, eight plus RBI, and five plus runs in a game. Oh, and his helmet from that game? now sits in the Baseball Hall of Fame. The new Rangers starting rotation started off strong and breaking a record or two along the way. Lefty Andrew Heaney broke the single game franchise record with nine consecutive strikeouts, beating Nolan Ryan's record from 30 years ago. Then the next day, ace Jacob DeGrom made history striking out his 27th batter in his first three starts for Texas, a new club record. The fastest since, you guessed it, Nolan Ryan. From one Alvin, Texas native to another, righty Nathan Evaldi shut down the Yankees with the first complete game shutout by a Rangers pitcher in Globe by Field history. Striking out eight and giving up only three hits, all without walking a single batter. On April 21st, Rangers Nation caught Peagle Mania. The Rangers launched their City Connect uniforms in collaboration with Nike, celebrating the history of baseball in the DFW Metroplex. We've been working on this since May of 2020, and we're delighted that we were able to roll it out and without any leaks, basically. City Connect has its own set of challenges. We don't wear the name of the city. We wear the name of the largest state represented in Major League Baseball. We just felt like the origin story was the natural place to go. It allowed us to celebrate the role that Arlington played and the Rangers being here the rich history of baseball in Dallas and Fort Worth. We are here because Dallas and Fort Worth came together in Arlington through baseball, and that was the Dallas-Fort Worth Spurs, which basically was the impetus for just proving that this region could support a major league team. It's super exciting to be able to tell that story, to tell that origin story that, frankly, not a lot of people know. So our TX mark uh, reflects the Dallas Eagles, so it pays homage to it in its type treatment, kind of this old English Gothic style. And then we honor the Spurs with an, a spur through the X. This creature is a mythical creature, the Peagle. If we think about our origin story, is cities connecting. You know, we think about Dallas and Fort Worth coming together. And so Nike came up with this really cool visual of the Eagles and Panthers coming together. So we affectionately know uh, this as the Peagle. We'll take that opportunity throughout the season to kind of unpack a little bit more of the story. It's a rich story, there's a lot to it, and one of the things we love about this uniform is that, as Scott mentioned, every element is inspired by a piece of that story. So for our fans and everyone who follows baseball and the Rangers specifically, to know our origin story, to know everything that came into getting to Arlington, uh, it's not your typical relocation story or expansion team story like this was almost two decades of persistence and resilience and optimism that Mayor Vandegrift showed. And to have that come through in every element of this jersey along with that rich baseball history that existed before the Rangers were here, uh, we couldn't be happier to see it come to life and celebrate that every Friday night.
Nike and Major League Baseball have teamed up to make unique alternate jerseys for many of the teams to honor their roots. The Rangers will rock their City Connect uniforms each Friday home game for the next three seasons. And you know who is one of the biggest fans of the Rangers' new threads? Adolis Garcia. I'm here with Rangers outfielder Adolis Garcia. And Adolis, you had quite the month of April. You were the Rangers player of the month and the MLB RBI leader with 30. What has been your key to success? I think it's been a lot of consistency in the work I've been doing and a lot of work with the hitting coach. Yeah. It's been it's more of his, he's been very consistent with his hitting and a lot of the work he's been doing with his uh, hitting coaches. Speaking of hitting, what is a drill or something that you're doing differently this season that is really helping you offensively? I think I'm doing the drills in the team, trying to keep the ball in the center of the field. I think that's what's helping me right now. Yeah, he's been putting a lot of balls on the tees yeah, he's been putting a lot of balls on the tees and working on those drills and that's really been helping him a lot. You became the fourth player with three homers and two doubles in a single game. At what point during that game did you realize you did something special? I think when I was in the fourth turn of the game, I realized that I was doing something very special and I think that this game is doing a very good game. Yeah, he didn't realize it after he kind of was done hitting and whatnot and came in and went to the batting cages and kind of started kind of realizing after everybody was kind of telling him what he was been done. He kind of was pretty excited about it. Off the field, what did you do to celebrate that game? I mean, that's a huge game and a historic game in your career and for baseball. Eh, sí, creo que ese día tuve salí muy contento de aquí, pero no podía hacer nada porque tenía otro juego el otro día. Así que solo fui a casa tranquilo, una buena cena y ya. Yeah, he didn't have too much time to really think about it and celebrate with anybody, so he went home because we had a game the next day. So he went home and had a really nice dinner with his wife and family. Your patience at the plate has significantly improved this season. What is one way that you're working on that aspect of your game to consistently stay that way? Creo que la paciencia, no, tratar de ser el plan que no me picha muy fácil, entonces eso me está ayudando a estar agresivo, pero donde yo quiero batear. Yeah, just trying to stay consistent and try to follow his plan and his routines, and I think that's kind of really helped him throughout his process. Speaking of your routine, on a game day, what is the most beneficial part of your routine, or maybe something different that you're doing this year that you hadn't done in years past? Creo que el juego de día es difícil. Con lo primero es el sueño, pero creo que llegar aquí y hacer las aguas calientes y todas esas cosas me ayudan a a poner el cuerpo en forma siempre. Yeah, days like today, it's a day game, so it's kind of hard. He's still kind of tired from yesterday, but their routine is to come in, get in the hot tank, cold tank, do a little contrast, uh, just kind of things to kind of make him prepare for the game. That's probably his main thing. When you look at the team this season, I mean, you're the definition of fun. You are a blast to watch on the field, so passionate when you play. This team this season just feels so different and is so fun to watch every single night. As a player on this team and such a big part of it, what is different for you about the team and the roster this season for the Rangers? I think the energy that transmits the team is incredible. The new players that are there and that we are helping everyone. So that you also want to be as good as they are. Yeah, he says like the energy of this team is, is incredible. Um, the players, the new guys that are here, they bring a lot of energy and it just makes everybody and himself want to play harder. Thanks, Adolis. Share your game day picks or fire us a question using hashtag Rangers Report for your chance to be featured on the show. Our next Rangers Report comes in June, but why wait until then to see what happens? Instead, come join the excitement at Globe Life Field. I'll see you next time.